Hello Territory here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video we will be talking about the automatic carrot potato or beetroot farm and the automatic wheat farm. So I'm going to go back into first person mode and we're going to go straight in here and have a look. So this is the farming layer just here and it works on the basis that a brown coat villager like this, a fisherman, farmer or fletcher, collects crops and that's not how it should work, but oh well. Uh, it collects crops by punching them, replants them, and comes over to this villager here, which has nothing in its inventory whatsoever, and he throws crops at that, which go gets caught by this water, and hits the bottom of the you've had, gets caught by the water, goes down to this drop shoot here, which can go to wherever you want. Don't mix crops in between layers, because it doesn't work as well, but you can have as many as you want in here. Uh, so let's go and have a look at the schematic. So there's something wrong in there in this example one but this is right. So if you look it is a 27 by 27 area and there is the light and water configuration feel free to screenshot that and I'm gonna go down here. So it works on the basis that the villager collects crops comes it and he plants it on this block here and the light level means that this is seven so crops can't grow and as he walks back the pressure plate which I just destroyed um, updates this block which pops the carrot off which means he keeps on returning here and throwing crops at that so that is that and I will show you what it looks like in here so the villager stands here you put a block over the top of it and that's the drop shoot and you have two fences at each thing and block there these this has to be opaque to put um, the pressure plate on it's the only block in the whole thing that has to be opaque other than the ceiling uh, and I've got opaque blocks under there because it looks better but as you see here we have this seemingly unnecessary roof over the top but that is there to protect the villager from lightning strikes a villager can be struck by lightning for um, within three blocks and you may say well that counts as a block there but the thing is when a villager is standing on a lily pad it's slightly taller than two blocks high so that stops it from getting struck by lightning and this if you're going to be stacking layers on top of each other you need to keep the slabs in because it means it's two and a half blocks high in there which means that endermen can't teleport in because when an enderman teleports onto farmland it reverts it to normal ground so that means you keep as much farming land as possible and you keep on stacking that and you only have to have this on the top layer and this is a bit higher here and you can see three layers above the villager in the center so it's that simple um, and here is the wheat farm it is only 8x8 eight eight at the moment but this works on the basis that you have one brown coat villager in there this can be as big as you want you have one brown coat villager in there and you fill his inventory with eight stacks of seeds, which is as much as he can take. So he only, he breaks the crop, replants it, and then you have a minecart going around underneath, which picks it up. And I have this simple thing here. So when there's items going, in, when it's got items in the hopper minecart, is and there's items going into here, this deactivates this rail, keeping it there, and all the items from there go into this thing here and it goes into this drop of Ata, which comes up into this chest and in a sec and I will do a I will show you 10 minutes <coughs> what 10 minutes gets you at the end of this video but here is an example of why around the edges I've got full corners and this is for a very specific reason and if I go into my whatever inventory up there there's a very specific reason it's full corners because as you see here if I put a roof over top of there because it is currently daytime and put the zombie in there or turn that on zombie in there it is can actually attack the villager through the corner of the block so you need to have a full blocks on the corner so I'm going to do a 10 minute time lapse of how many items you get there with the timer along and that will be the end of the video. So in advance, thank you for watching, 
If you found this video useful, please remember to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, check out some of our videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.